Hello everyone, welcome to the Minecraft video. Today I shall be showing you a secret entrance disguise, the junk disposal system. Now there are a lot of advantages to this. Alright, so starting off here, um, I have a list in front of me actually, I'm going to read off it. Survival friendly, this, uh, you have not seen the redstone, alright. Damn it, I've fallen down apparently. I will just get back up here and pretend I have indeed been mining and also killing zombies. So the first thing here is that it is survival friendly and you don't know it yet but it is so trust me. It is quite easy to hide in fact that block is the only thing that um, is the only thing above ground that you need. Uh, this cake isn't necessary and none of this wall is necessary except that block. Um, if you think about it you, you want a junk disposal in your house, preferably, because that'd be really convenient, or in your base. So, um, in theory, chests should be placed against walls to make it nice and pretty, and therefore, it's not too big of a problem to put one against a wall. Not only that, it's actually useful as well, because, um, some, um, as well as being a secret, I should stop moving my camera, as well as being a secret entrance, it is actually a legitimate junk disposal system. So you can actually throw away all your random stuff in there, um, that annoys you. So that's great. It is unlikely to be found by people who are just guessing the combination, because, um, the combination here is diamonds, and, but, however, if you're unaware of a secret entrance, um, like, you, you, you suspect this is a secret entrance, but you don't know the password, you're highly unlikely to risk diamonds like putting it into this machine um, to see if it's actually going to work because if it fails then you've wasted a diamond. Um, some other um, hidden secret entrances just have a chest and a hopper underneath. The problem with that is that this hopper is really obvious because I can see the hopper here and um, yeah if your filtration system is right under the um, chest you can actually right click this hopper and see it. Also, if it's the junk is not disposed, um, anything that isn't uh, the password would get clogged up in this hopper and be really bad. Not only that, it would be harder to hide because if it's not a junk disposal system, um, the only other thing the chest, the other reason the chest would be there is because of storage reasons. So, um, basically, um, the storage chest, um, you're, you're disguising your secret engine storage chest, and there's a hopper underneath. That's going to start anything you try to store into there. So that isn't going to work either. Oh, and um, finally, it's compact, um, and you cannot see that, but just trust me on this. You'll see that later. And finally, I would just like to apologize for not posting videos recently. Um... I would firstly like to wish you a happy new year and Christmas. I can't believe I wasted like two minutes before I said that. And also, um, yeah, I'm sorry I haven't posted in a long while. Um, it's just basically because I have absolutely no ideas um, on what to um, what to post. Like, I've had no inspiration on what an idea that's YouTube worthy in a while. So, um, hopefully... Um, yeah, but I think I'm justified in that, because people like Seth Bling and Squirt Dude, both very good YouTubers, do actually take a while between posts um, of these type of videos. Like, Seth Bling posts Minecraft videos, and that's all good, because he can record them at any time. However, his the videos where he makes contraptions, that actually takes approximately one month per video, one video per month. Same with Squirt Dude. I don't know how Simply Suck does his thing. I swear he posts ones like every week. He must like play Minecraft like 24-7. But I am simply not capable of doing that. And therefore, I will be posting about the same rate of once per month. Probably even slower. I am very sorry for this. And finally, I will most likely be starting a, a multiplayer survival thing. Um... My, my past recent snapshots, they have been hosted in a multiplayer survival world, uh, which I am a part of, and therefore, this is the friend server, it's not that big of a thing, and therefore I think that it's actually worth starting there, because I am relatively settled in now, so normally I'm just pretty horrible with doing stuff like cutting down trees, caving, etc, because it's really boring, I sound bored, um, 
I sound bored whenever I do that, I struggle to say something, think of something to say, and it's really just quite boring. So I'm settled enough to the point where I can do caving off screen and it won't be that big of a deal. And um, basically the things I'll be working on are projects, maybe redstone projects. This will be going in my survival, uh, multiplayer survival. And so yeah, oh, I've talked for ages. I am going to get rid of my rotten flesh because it is useless. Like, I'm nowhere to put it. And this stuff is just, it, 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 it makes you hungry. The more you eat, the more hungry you get. And that's just horrible. And I'll just look at that boat while it dispenses. Alright, so it's finished. And now, the secret combination, not combination, the, the thing that is needed to activate this is diamonds. So finally I can demonstrate this after like 5 minutes of talking. And I'll put this in and... Oh crap! Ow. Damn it! Alright, so, um, what's in here, the redstone, we'll show you the ins and outs, don't you worry sir, this is going to come quite quickly, because I've wasted a lot of time. Diamond, if it is a diamond, it will go into this hopper filtration system, therefore, um, therefore nothing can pass through except diamonds, if it's not a diamond, it will go into this dropper, which has a clock, uh, um, put into it. If there's an item in here, this will turn on, which will turn on this, which will turn on this clock, which will dispense all items that are in here into the uh, lava, which is right below and there. If it is a diamond, it will go through here. This will create, uh, have 23 items in it, power this comparator to two, a signal strength of two, which will power this repeater, which will power this torch, which will unpower this, therefore giving a... Um, Therefore, um, activating this, this will suck one diamond out, as I will show here, exactly, and yes, and every time a diamond is sucked out, a creeper will come out of here. If you put 64 diamonds into this, you will get 64 creepers, which is not that great. So yeah, finally, after all that, I would just like to add, I am using the Saxfield BD Craft Sound Pack, and I'm using Saxfield BD Craft Xmas Pack. Um, I will put those in the credits, but not in the description, because I am lazy. So there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. And, yeah. Happy New Year. Oh. Happy New Year. Bye.